A took 15 seconds to cross a rectangular field diagonally walking at the rate of 52 meters per minute and B took the same time to cross the same field along its sides walking at the rate of 68 meters per minute. The area of the field is options given to us are 30 meters squared, 40 meters squared, 50 meters squared or 60 meters squared. All right. So interesting one where he has clubbed the concept of time and distance along with uh, mensuration here, right? So he's talking about two persons, A and B. A has taken 15 seconds to cross a rectangular field diagonally walking at the rate of 52 meters per minute, right? While the other person B has taken the same time, which is 15 seconds, to cross the same field along its sides walking at the rate of 68 meters per minute. What is the area of the field? So, so look at it, the speeds of these two persons are 52 meters per minute and 68 meters per minute respectively. Both of them have taken 15 seconds to cross this rectangular field. The difference is one person or the first person rather A has crossed this field diagonally and the other person B has crossed the same field along its sides. Right, that's the difference. And based on this data, he's asked us to find out the area of the field, right? What is the area of this field? Now, let's let's consider a rectangular field here. You don't have to do all this drama again in the exam, but for the sake of explanation, I'll have to draw it to explain this to you. So let's say A is standing at this point here, right? What is the objective? He wants to cross this rectangular field. He has crossed it diagonally, right? He has crossed it diagonally. So what will A do? A will, and you know that in a rectangular, the opposite sides are equal right so let's say these are the two lengths and here are the breadths so a crosses it diagonally right so a walks along this line right and he has reached his destination right this is the point they want to reach so a has reached this point how much time does it take 15 seconds right a has taken 15 seconds to move in this direction and cross the field and a speed as per the question is 52 meters per minute right a can walk at the rate of 52 meters per minute then what does the other person do? B. B took the same time, which is 15 seconds, to cross the same field along its side. Now, let, let me show this in a different color. A has crossed it diagonally. What does B do? B will cross the field along the sides. So B starts from the same point. Let's say B starts here from the same point, right? And he crosses the field along the side. So he also has to reach the same point, right? Opposite side, but along the sides. So B is going to travel in this direction, right? B first covers the length and then takes a turn, a 90 degree turn and covers the breadth, reaches this point. How much time did B take? B has also taken the same time, 15 seconds to cross the field along the side. And B's speed is given as 68 meters per minute, 68 meters per minute. Based on this data, we got to find the area of the field. Now simple, see you have been given the time for the two persons and you've been given the speeds. What is missing? The distances are missing. And I think that's what we can calculate uh, based on the diagram that you have drawn, right? W what is the diagonal of a rectangle? The diagonal of a rectangle is root over L squared plus B squared, right? You got to apply Pythagoras theorem there. So what A has actually covered, the distance covered by A is root over L squared plus B squared. What is the distance covered by B? L plus B. So if you look at it, A has taken 15 seconds at the speed of whatever 52 meters per minute 15 seconds here right and he has covered a distance of root over l squared plus b squared while b on the other hand uh, has taken the same time 15 seconds uh, at a speed of what 68 meters per minute 68 meters per minute and he has covered a distance of L plus B, right? He has covered a distance of L plus B, right? First the length and the breadth or whichever way. First the breadth and the length. The distance covered by B is L plus B. Now, you know the time and speed. Can you find out the distances? Yes. So basically, indirectly, we have been given two equations, root over L squared plus B squared and L plus B. Once you find out the values of these two equations, meaning the equations are formed, you can solve the two to get the required answer, right? He's asking us to get the area of the field. Area of the field is nothing but L into B. So basically, we are working on two variables, L and B, which can be evaluated using the two conditions given to us. Now, easy way to calculate is as follows, right? 15 seconds, you know, is one fourth of a minute. So both of, they, both of them have taken one fourth of a minute to cover the distances. Now, from this data here, can I say the distance, which is root over L squared plus B squared? See, what is distance? Distance is speed into time, right? Distance is equal to speed into time. 52 meters per minute into one fourth of a minute. Speed is 52 
time is 1 by 4. So this comes out to be 52 into 1 by 4. That is the reason we have converted seconds to minutes. Remember, whenever you are dealing with time and distance or questions related to time, speed and distance, the units have to be balanced. In fact, in any case, the units have to be balanced, but mostly we have to do this when you are dealing with time and distance problems, right? Like, you know, minutes to seconds, seconds to minutes to hours, kilometers, meters, etc. All these units have to be balanced before you do the calculation. So 15 seconds converted to minutes is 1 by 4. So 52 into 1 by 4, which is equal to equal to what 13 yes so root over l squared plus b squared is 13 or or further simplified as l squared plus b squared equals to 169 that's equation one do the same thing in the second case what happens uh, b here so from this we find that the distance covered is l plus b distance is equal to speed into time again so 68 into 1 by 4 same case one fourth of a minute 68 by 4 is 17 so we get l plus b equals to 17 now you don't really have to worry about how to evaluate the values of L and B from these two equations. I mean, you can, in fact, use those basic identities from algebra, right? L plus B, the whole squared equals to L squared plus B squared plus 2LB, and then L plus L minus B, the whole squared equals to L squared plus B squared minus 2LB. But instead of doing all that drama, you just look at these numbers and you'll know what uh, the two values are, right? 169, if you have to split as L squared plus B squared, I think the only way to do it is uh, 144 and 25 you getting it i mean that's the first thing that strikes you if you have uh, you know done enough calculations 169 if you have to break it as sum of two squares it should be 144 and 25. see uh, i'm sure if i can do this you guys can also do that right there's there's nothing complex about it or just deal with those algebraic identities to evaluate l and b so i think overall uh, the conclusion here would be that l is 12 see 144 plus 25 is like 144 L squared is 144 and B squared is 25. 144 is what? 12 squared. 25 is 5 squared. So that's that's what happens, right? 12 plus 5 is 17. 12 plus 5 is 17. So I can say L is equal to 12. L is equal to 12 and B is equal to 5. What is he asking us to get? The area. Area is L times B. 12 times 5 is 60. So 60 meters squared is going to be the final answer. Again, it doesn't take as much time. Do not go by the length and the time taken to explain this. You will get 60 as the final answer.